unmanned or remotely piloted aircraft are used extensively by researchers as well as the military. Their popularity has even soared with the general public, with real estate agents, anti-poachers, surf lifesavers and even children using remotely piloted aircraft. It is feasible for commercial airlines to use this technology, but before this occurs, there are a number of milestones that need to be achieved. Apart from obtaining approval from the applicable aviation governing authorities, passengers need to be sold on this technology. Quality, reliability and trust in the automation are presumably some of the key factors influencing passengers' willingness to accept this technology. Therefore, the aim of the present research was to investigate the factors that influence passengers' decision or choice for a remotely piloted commercial passenger aircraft compared with a conventional aircraft and examine the impact of attitude towards remotely piloted commercial passenger aircraft and computers on this decision. In pursuit of these aims, three experiments were conducted. The first two related to the scientific development of a remotely piloted commercial passenger aircraft attitude scale, and the third involved a stated choice experiment to determine the factors that impact on passengers' decision to travel on a remotely piloted commercial passenger aircraft. Over 450 university students completed Experiment 1 and Experiment 2. The results revealed a remotely piloted commercial passenger aircraft attitude scale with two factors. The first factor was labelled trust in remotely piloted aircraft and the second factor was labelled trust in onboard pilot. Experiment 3 involved the stated choice experiment in which 196 university students participated. The results revealed two groups of people, otherwise known as classes. The first group, or class, was characterised by their high level of trust in remotely piloted aircraft. This group thought remotely piloted aircraft were a viable substitute for conventionally piloted aircraft. They would choose the remotely piloted option provided the fare was well priced, there was good in-flight service, a small risk of delay and the cabin crew were experienced. An interesting finding was that the respondents in this class tended to want the remotely piloted aircraft technology to have been demonstrated for a number of years before choosing this option. The second group or class had considerably less trust in the remotely piloted aircraft technology. Hence they preferred the pilot on board option and this preference would only be compromised by a considerably reduced fare. Greater in-flight service or punctuality could not compensate for the fact that the aircraft was remotely piloted. Interestingly, and in contrast to the first class, potential passengers were attracted to the remotely piloted aircraft if the aircraft was new and using the latest technology. The study, using student population as an example, has demonstrated that different segments exist within the population, each requiring different marketing strategies. The research suggests that potential remotely piloted aircraft service providers can use price and service based strategies to acquire market share of those in class 1. Whereas for class 2 individuals, the priority for the service provider should be to build trust in the remotely piloted aircraft technology. This research was conducted by Brett Molesworth and Tay Koo from the School of Aviation at the University of New South Wales, Australia. A write-up of this research can be found in the journal titled Transportation Research Part C, Emerging Technology.